So what we're doing now is we're just taking normal salt, any kind of salt, and we're cleaning the fish. So you put the salt on the fish and let it sit there for one, uh, one minute. And then you gently massage the salt in and this is going to get rid of a lot of water and a lot of the slime. That's the point. And you make sure you try to get the salt all over the fish every little crack and crevice and including inside of the gill plate. We're just going to now get rid of all of the salt and hopefully all of the slime with water and just thoroughly clean it and still try to make sure we don't get rid of any scales. Mm -hmm. By the name or type of the salmon? This is a uh, chum salmon. Chum salmon. In Japan, we call it toki jake. It is very uh, delicious salmon. Toki jake. Toki jake. Mm. Toki jake. Toki means very seasoned, uh, seasonal salmon. Mm -hmm. Very limited. A lot of a lot of oil. Mm. We're preparing the cloth so that. When I put the print on it, uh, the fish will look as smooth as the cloth is. So if the cloth is wrinkly, the fish is going to look wrinkly and you're just going to have a bad print. So just preparing it with a dry iron, no steam, and uh, so it looks like we're going to uh, take this bottom fin off to print later. And we're going to print this side, not the bottom, but this side. And you have to get your curved scissors mm -hmm. in between this little piece of fin and here. Pull tight and cut. And then put it on the hardboard. to the anus of the fish, clean it up first so there's no blood, and then put some glue in there, if I can get it out, so that no more blood, a little bit of glue, not too much, and just, uh, just a little bit on the finger, and then each fin or the tail has to be put on the hardboard, so we're just going to take a little glue, just on one end, and you position the dorsal fin so it doesn't look unnatural, but it looks natural, maybe there, hopefully there, and place it on the, the hardboard, and that should stay. And then if this still moves, you'll tape the pins. Just using you know, we're just taking some pins so that all the pieces that we made to keep the fish in place stay in place so nothing is going to go anywhere mm -hmm. and that uh, will keep the fish exactly where it needs to be we have to uh, make sure we know where this fin goes on the print later on so we're going to take a careful measurement and make a note so that we know later that that will print right there yeah. taking a stencil of the three different fins so Later on, I'll have a much better idea of okay, how so I'm just like. taking a knife and I'm cutting out the, uh, the different fins like I did before. And then this way, later on, so that the fin looks really great on the fish, you will put this where the fin should be and then it'll be a complete thing. Ah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, you are a nice teacher for me. And Thank the, you. The fish is covered with tissue paper just to collect any more moisture, blood or slime. And you, when you peel it back, you look for, for blood or slime like this so that next time you can be extra careful and you know where it's from. And yeah, that should take care of the blue in the slime. Before the glue goes on, you want to have a real close look at the fish to make sure there's no no uh, little little things that shouldn't be where they should where they are, so that the print is. Mm -hmm. I see. 
Okay, Sim, what do you do? Okay, this, uh, you want to put the, the cardboard mm -hmm. in between the gill plate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to hold the gill plate up mm -hmm. so that you get a definite line mm -hmm. in the print mm -hmm. and so no blood or slime mm -hmm. comes out at the mm -hmm. same time. So what do you do? I will put a little glue. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little glue. Uh, no, I think this way. Okay. Open. Then, okay, you will apply glue here. Okay. Spot. Not too much. Not too much, just. Uh, Then push rightly. Yeah. Nice. Barbara, Santa Barbara, California hobby accelerator to make sure the glue dries quickly so you're not wasting time. Mm -hmm. And it should well, be dry. The fish is, and we notice we want it to be as straight as possible, so we want to lift the head up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, and that will make sure there's no wrinkles in the print. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. So, we're going to take a little bit of clay and we're going to put it underneath the head so that it lifts up, stays up. And oh, that's too high, so I'll press it down. And that's looking much better. Nice. It's another cavity, of course, where liquid or fluid or blood can come out, so you want to take your tissue and clean inside of there very well. Mm -hmm. I am covering the fish with glue from head to tail, every area, and try not to put too much on. Mm -hmm. What is the ratio of the water and glue? It is 50-50. Okay, very strong. Okay. And the glue, I've never seen before, but it, I think you can eat it, so. It should be able to be bought at a grocery store, so mm -hmm. you can get all the detail, make sure every part of the head is covered, mm -hmm. and with the big brush, I might miss something. So with the small brush, I'll make sure I get it. Now it's time to put the, uh, the cloth onto the fish, so you will use a, a, a big, firm cotton ball, and enough pressure but not too much and you start at the top of the fish and give good pressure to make sure there's good contact with the fabric onto the fish and try to get out any wrinkles and as you work down and you get to the fins you can use a smaller one so that you have better better contact and and better detail mm -hmm.